We might start. Are you ready? Nothing. Well, let's try a little primer juice. See if it's getting fuel. This is not oil, this is a mixture of gas and oil. Okay, that's a lot. Spark indicators are not a hundred percent guarantee, but they do give you an idea. Good boys, I can hardly see that. I can't see it. Well, I guess we'll go to plan B here. Plan B is usually plan A, isn't it? Good. We don't want to ground anything out. I'll get a rag here. It's not gassy. There, I should be able to see that now. Absolutely no spark at all. Huh. Okay. Might be a coil. Spark plug out because I've seen shorted spark plugs too. I hope you guys are with me. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. I'm just going to try a, a spare plug that I know is good. RJ19LM, good pub, good plug. And hook it up just with the induction tester. And we're going to see if she starts. And you guys can watch the test for me. Let me know if it flashes good. put everything back the way it was. So I screwed the plug in tighter too, so it should run even better now. So 
now I just want to get her cleaned up and we'll do a tune-up. So thank you for doing that with me, Tubes. Alright guys. It was a bad RJ2YXLE. This plug is open. And that's why it wouldn't run. The spark wouldn't even get through my spark detector because there was no current flow between the two. So now we are going to do a tune-up on this guy. We're going to put in an RJ19LM. We're going to put in a uh, Bridge & Stratton air filter. Very common. You can get them anywhere. And uh, we're going to change the oil. So I just had it running. So I want to get it up on the stand so we can get the oil changed and the blade out. Do I talk too much? I guess I might as well take the blade off while I'm at it. Eh? So let's get that blade off and then drain the oil. You don't have to have an impact wrench, but it makes life easier. So now that that's draining, I want to know how many of you out there, you small engine backyard mechanics, have had trouble with these factory R2 or RJ2Y XLEs? Have you guys had trouble with them? That's the nice thing about this. Yeah, it's done. So let's put the bone back in. Oh, we might as well, before we do that, we might as well sharpen the blade. Not that bad. Wasn't that tight either though. So there's a couple of big nicks out of here, which is really common, but the actual sharpness is not that bad. It looks like it caught here. And then turned around and caught a little further in. So I'm just gonna sharpen this. Gosh, there's lots of sharpening videos out there. I've got one, so I will come back in a bit. So now, after I finish sharpening a lawnmower blade, and you can see I did pretty well here, but you can't always get all the nicks out. They can't be perfect. Once I sharpen that, I uh, just blunt the edge off a little bit so that it's, it's not a super sharp edge going through the lawn. If it hits another rock, you won't get as deep of an impact mark. And then I just throw the... I put the uh, lawnmower blade on a nail just to make sure that I'm balanced. It's not a super scientific way but I just do that. And then on uh, the one end I did have to take a little bit off. I just took a little bit of metal off this end to make it balance a bit better. So now let's put this blade back on. Oh and it never it's frustrating. When I took the blade off, there was no lock washer on here, so I'm putting a lock washer on the blade after. So of course, cut, shut the shiny side up. It's like when you're putting in sod, right? Green side up. really tight but this is a very weak impact wrench. I go till it just stops turning and then I just give it another squish. So now we're ready to put the oil in. 
weren't good. Now let's see if we can check this already. I doubt it. The tube gets clogged with oil, right? Oh, that's good. So I put 600 milliliters in. Now we will do the air filter. So that's the old one. That's something, eh? And he said he blew it out. <laughs> so sometimes machines just need a little bit of love. So now I'm just going to oil the wheels and clean up the unit and we'll have some fun looking at it in a, in a second or so. Thanks Tubes. There, we're done Tubes. Got it cleaned up, tuned up and running. So on this one I started with the club jet on the carburetor which is a, you know, that's a really common thing on these brakes but it ended up being the uh, factory plug went bad. So let's just do a the old fashioned small engine demo. Thanks for watching, Tubes.